Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Space Remote Sensing and GIS. First of all, I will thanks to everyone for the great support around the world and a um, lot of comments is coming nowadays. Okay, so maybe I will miss a lot of my comments um, to reply, but uh, very sorry uh, for that. And uh, I will try to reply my uh, best to solve your problems okay so now today we will going to discuss a very interesting topic like someone is asking like how we are going to do the deep learning tools in 3.2 or the latest versions because that which i have in my video the building extractions that is a little old okay it, it's more than 2.9 versions of arcgis pro so many people is facing some kind of errors and something so uh, that's why i will just do the repetitions of this is new versions the how we'll do the deep learning models okay so for deep learning workflow uh, if you see the analysis in arcgis okay we are following the uh, generalized workflow actually okay it is actually regardless of the deep learning task okay the workflow is actually applying the deep learning has the five steps okay so preparing the training data then train the models and then run the models and finally we will do the evaluating the results okay the and the process uh, as you required okay so this is this is the process you you have to perform for the deep learning models okay so keep it in mind uh, these are the five steps which you have to perform so let's go to the arcgis pro now this is the arcgis pro as you seen here this is the arcgis pro which i open and in this arcgis pro i have some data sets which i am going to use for this particular analysis so i have one um, uh, uh, image so that i will going to add with so i will just simply drag and drop this image so here see this is a very good resolution image where the buildings are visible very clearly okay the first steps which you have to do during the deep learning model which i already did for you because it is taking us so much time to collect the building samples okay so i will just tell you the process how we will collect the building samples so you need to select this image from here and then you have to come to the imagery and here this is a deep learning tools and under the level object deep learning so you have to level the objects okay so if i simply click on okay and collect the building footprints so whatever the buildings i want so there is a good amount of the building which i'm going to digitize and i will select it as a samples which i will going to give input for my next steps that is preparing the sample data sets okay so i already prepared a sample uh, means i already collected this uh, data sets for for the preparing samples so that i will going to use so that is the building footprints which i already uh, select and, and save it in a gtp okay so let's see the next steps which is the preparing the sample data so to to preparing the samples data sets you have to do the same process like you see here we have uh, uh, under the image um, uh, see here under the image analysis tools okay so under this deep learning models okay so here we have one tool like uh, in this case first uh, the second step we have to do that is export training data for the deep learning so that that we have to do first okay so here in the export training data for deep learning tools we have to give the input data of this one okay like the image which we are actually using it and uh, as i told you uh, before i will go this i will add the building footprints over here so you see here i already have some building footprints so which i will going to give the input over here okay so that's also we need to give input wherever you want to save your data you can select uh, that particular location to save your data sets i will just simply saving my data over suppose here okay so or you can save whatever the locations you want you can save this data. so not here exactly so better i will save it in a fresh folder which i already created for here this particular analysis mm, that is I will need to save my data over here in the deep learning. Okay, so in deep learning, I will just want to save this. Okay, so let's wait for that. Okay, so now the next important thing we have to set here the model that is RCNN mask model, which we are going to use to process this 
particular analysis over here okay this is i am just trying to creating a training samples okay so now we will actually converting the training samples for the sample uh, manager okay so so called is usually training chips actually we are going to create so, okay training chips which is contain the ex examples of objects that we are training the model to detect the steps okay so that's what the we are actually going to create okay over here so uh, we need to go to the environment and the cell size we will going to create is same like this so for the input feature class i just need to select the building footprints okay so the building footprints we have to select okay and uh, now your model is ready for run so let's uh, run the model and uh, let's wait for the results so as you seen uh, this is run successfully so now we can move to the next uh, part okay so the next part we are actually going to train the deep learning model okay so uh, in this you see already that we have already uh, have this tool that is called train deep learning model so now we will go to this here first we have to give the input data so the last steps what we are actually going to create now so we are going to give input of uh, that same model so suppose i will just going to create the model over the here this is sample d which we created from this particular model and now uh, we have to give the output model here it will be fine now the epochs i am giving maximum four or five okay so that will be fine okay so maximum i will give as a five epochs and uh, the, that is actually a number of the epochs which is referred to the number of the times that the data will be run through the neural network actually increasing the number of the epochs gives the model more opportunities to learn and will likely to produce more accurate results okay so however this increasing the number of the epochs also increasing the processing time so to make the processing time less i will give the less epochs okay now here the pretend model i already have one pretend model so we need to give the uh, the pretend model no no not for the pretend model from here i will use the model type so which is the mark rcnn um, object detections so that only i am going to give it here and the data preparations uh, i am not changing the batch size or anything so if you want to go for the more accurate results you can adjust all these parameters accordingly so in environment if you come and uh, you just give this processor as a gpu okay so then see uh, make uh, your uh, processing times will be more faster okay speed up your processing time so that's why we select it as a gpu okay now simply uh, click on run and let's wait for the uh, result because this is uh, actually you are actually creating uh, that you are actually training the deep learning models okay so uh, whatever these outputs you need to give in let's run and wait for the results so here it is uh, run okay so if you open the view status you will see the accuracy of your results so which is mainly showing 0.66 is not that much good but uh, you can go up to 70 to 80 percent uh, accuracy if you fine tune the model okay this is just for demonstration so i will just uh, show you actually the how the results you have to check uh, for your model uh, pretend model accuracy okay so now uh, uh, we can go for the further uh, process which is the final steps which is running the deep learning models so if you see here uh, if you go back so you have the option here uh, which you can use uh, the deep learning models which you can uh, directly apply the track the building for that i will just uh, go and take a sides of this but uh, this particular image sites i can consider this area okay for my further analysis okay so i hope this will be better and uh, uh, this Make it 5000 to uh, 2500. Okay, so that will be the
that I will consider okay this area I will consider for my analysis now um, now the rest of the things uh, is you have to run the model so this is the model so that is detect object using the deep learning so you can select the input parameters of your building footprint sorry your image so that you have to select now it is the final steps and uh, here I already give the input of this raster images and the model definition model files which we are already having the model so which I just going to select that so this particular model which I already downloaded for um, from our living atlas as you I already showed you in my previous uh, video which you can see it okay so that is the under the files I saved this US building footprints for DLP files so that I just uh, give here as an input okay and uh, this is uh, the environment where the cell size which we can uh, maintain about uh, this particular image which we are actually use so i will selecting that okay so the final output i am saving in the same gdb which i i just kept my data sets should be there okay and, and you just click on this known uh, maximum suppression so that you please check on and in the environment you just uh, run this processor in the gpu so make you work little faster so that's all uh, this is your final steps where you just need to click on the run and let's wait for the results so I'll click on the run and i will just wait for the results so now this is the final results came uh, if you see this how nicely it is extracted all the buildings so if you can swipe it also you can able to see how nicely it is extracted okay that's all for my this lecture so i hope you enjoy this lecture so if you like the lecture please uh, share this video and subscribe my channel give your comments thank you thank you very much thank you all